Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. Uh, the day I'm recording this is Friday, so I'm pumped to get the workday over with and spend a good quality weekend with my wife and kids. It's always a good time, and I uh, look forward to that. So hope you guys are having a good day, whatever day you're listening to this. And Yeah, but I want to talk about this dream I had earlier this year, and it was confusing and powerful. And because of that, it's been gnawing in my curiosity for ever since I heard it. Ever since I heard it. Ever since I had it. And so I want to describe what that dream is. And on my drive to work today, I think I have a deeper insight as to what that dream means. So in this dream, it was a dark gloomy world and there were a bunch of people in this open wasteland which had this red light emanating from like from above through the dark clouds that was lighting you know the being the light for whatever this place was and everybody was running to go and capture these orbs and these orbs had flags on them like world flags the American flag the Brazilian flag the Mexican flag Russian flag you get it all these different countries had their flags on an orb and people were running for specific orbs and trying to save them from this being that was also red. It was like he was the one emanating the light out onto this wasteland. And he was just watching this take place in joy, knowing any attempt we made to save these orbs would be for naught. And that's kind of how the dream went. And it was very ominous. It was very, like I said, confusing, but powerful. It was like there's something there, right? Unless I'm just trying to find meaning in something that's meaningless. But I don't think I am. And I'll explain why. Because I I had this epiphany or this... Or I, I pieced at least part of the puzzle together. So, what we're seeing in our world currently is this huge push to standardize a way of living because we are ushering in the new normal. So we have to set the foundation for what that new normal is. And so we're changing things up, seeing how far people will go, how far people are willing to disassociate with you know family friends because of political reasons social reasons all these things right the foundation the bedrock of society is being shifted right now and so these orbs with the flags on them represent you know the nations obviously that's obvious and the people of that nation and this red being that was emanating red light onto this wasteland is also secreting a certain frequency. And that frequency is a low frequency. And it's a low frequency because it's easier to penetrate things when you have a low frequency. That's why everybody's freaking out about 5G because it has a higher frequency requiring there to be more stations, um, you know, more receivers or projection projectors, whatever they're called, of this 5G frequency, so that way it can penetrate through the walls. It requires more because it's a higher frequency, so it has a difficult time getting through, but it has a larger bandwidth and can give uh, more data in its frequencies and its wavelengths. Whereas this red being is emanate is uh, secreting lower frequencies because it's easier to penetrate things. And so you think about that on a conscious level on how the masses 
are running on a lower frequency. It's because it's easier to attract, it's easier to penetrate uh, the walls, the temples, and go through and sort of possess them. It's like a magnet almost. So these orbs represent this um, conscious embodiment of that nation, right? And so this red being is sort of hypnotizing them. And so the reason he was laughing or in, uh, amused at our attempt to salvage them is because no matter what we do, they're always going to be attracted to this low frequency. So this, this, this national consciousness. And so then what does that mean for those who are not in that orb? Because it didn't consist of 7 billion people in the dream. It was a very limited amount of people in the dream. So those people trying to salvage that were those individuals who were, on, who were operating at a higher frequency, able to realize what was going on and trying to combat it. And so that higher frequency is I can't say it opposition but it's the system that's just it has this harmonious relationship it's like separating the wheat and the shaft is what was going on right there and so this dream I'm not exactly sure uh, what it means but it appears to represent some sort of conscious rapture that's taking place. The nations operate lower frequency, getting sucked in by the emanator of, I don't even know if that's a word, of lower frequency, while the emanator, once again, don't know if that's a word, <laughs> <laughs> I could just be making words up right now. Who knows? Of higher frequency is attempting to salvage, is seeing what is salvageable. And now we're entering, you know, you, you take both of those pieces together, do what you will with them. And then you add in the mass decentralization that's taking place right now, whether that be from smartphones to finance to industry, you know, because nanotechnology is going to completely destroy the in industrial society that we have right now. And that's what we're seeing on an agricultural scale as well. These large scale farms are failing, which is why America is going to go through this quote unquote food shortage. It's not because we have an actual food shortage, but it's because the supply chain is breaking on these large scales. We can't operate in this centralized manner anymore. Society is growing out of that. It's needing to return back to the means of productions need to be in the hands of man, not big corporations. So Karl Marx was right on something, but so this decentralization is taking place. And so on the lower frequencies, it's going to perpetuate materialism and lead into this nihilistic world Whereas the higher frequencies are also going to be decentralized in a way. This is what Jesus Christ did, by the way. He decentralized religion. He made it so you no longer need to go to somebody else to, to talk to God. You can go within yourself to talk to God. He, he gave you that realization. And that's the beautiful thing about Jesus Christ. And so in this higher frequency, and there's so many other beautiful things about Jesus Christ. The higher frequencies are also decentralizing in many ways as well. So I think that that's where, you know, a lot of the agriculture is going to come from as these centralized places. But what's going to happen is 
they're going to be stranded with no nations because all the nations are operating on this lower frequency that's become decentralized. And in this higher frequency that's also becoming decentralized, we then have a world where it's like water and oil. And so it's almost as if the higher frequency society that's being built right now will have to develop its own high frequency nation. So it sounds crazy. I get it. But I think that's sort of what the dream is trying to illustrate. I could be wrong. But I wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, hopefully you like it. If you do, please like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, share it. Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Much love. Peace.